guys, listen up, listen up. Okay, first, we're gonna go trick or treating, okay? We're gonna hit this block, then we're gonna hit the block next to this one, we're gonna- Hell no! This block won't have any candy? Tyrone, we're new to this neighborhood. You have no clue what kind of candy they'll have. All of our neighbors are dentists! I mean, that's true. But honestly, I like that our neighbors are dentists. Of course you don't mind it because your breath smells like a donkey's house. Tyrone, you better quit messing with my daddy. Tyrone, watch your mouth or nobody's getting candy at all this Halloween. Okay, fine, I'm sorry. This is my first Halloween and I swear if anyone prevents me from getting candy, I'ma break their jaw and all their food's gonna have to be liquid cause they won't have no teeth. Okay, so after all of our friends arrive and we're done trick or treating, I wanna hit a couple haunted houses. All right, get a good scare in tonight. I know my sexy mermaid costume makes you want to re-see my peanut butter cup, but my boyfriend's coming over, so you're gonna need to control yourself. Marjorie, nobody wants you, and please don't tell me that your cop boyfriend is really coming over. Oh, he is, and I know you're getting jealous. <sighs> Babe, your mom has to move out. Honestly, I'm a little upset that she still lives with us. This isn't... Okay, perfect. Sounds like our friends are showing up early. Uh, why, hello there? Great. It's Marjorie's boyfriend. Come on in. Oh, and you, you see, my, my, my name is Officer Lennard. Yeah, I know Officer Lennard. And you know it's Halloween, right? Mm, yeah, you, you know I do. Okay, you want to maybe borrow one of my old costumes or something? Uh, no, you see, I'm, I'm dressed up as, a, as an undercover police officer. Yeah. It's not really undercover if you're in full police uniform. It defeats the per you know what, just forget it. I'm not even gonna try to Yay! It might be my best friend, Shalissa Jalissa Carissa! Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Hey! Uh <laughs> Who is it? I don't know. This isn't anybody we invited. So are you uh are you trick-or-treating or you know, because we don't have any candy. We're actually just about to go walk the neighborhood and try to collect some... Danger lurks in the shadows. Right, okay. So this is the trick part of the trick-or-treating. Right? This is no trick. I'm here to help you and protect your family. You are in grave danger. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Who are you? I am... <laughs> the third... Okay, I, d I definitely didn't catch all of that. What did you say your name is? I said my name is... <laughs> the Third. Okay, Mr. The Third, you can leave. All right, we got stuff we gotta do. Goodbye. No, this is very serious. You must protect yourself and your family. Tonight is a most peculiar night. Zombies, killer clowns, fang dangles, I can offer you protection from all of these creatures with my premium Halloween protection insurance. Alright man, no thank you. I don't want to buy your insurance, alright? Plus, my mother-in-law's boyfriend's a cop, so kind of feel like we're protected. Hey man, I'm, I'm undercover. Uh, t t tell, him, tell him I'm a plumber. You are some fools if you think that you're safe. A haunted killer could break into your house and you'll wish that you had my protection insurance services. Nobody's breaking in here. I got the doors and the windows locked, so boom, problem solved. Yeah, but someone could crawl through your ventilation shaft into your entire house. You need protection from being haunted tonight. Okay, so this is a very specific protection insurance against being haunted on Halloween night only. Yes for the small price of $94.99 a month. No thank you, sir. Goodbye. That guy was a freaking weirdo. Come on, let's go get some candy. My house is ready to get tweaked or tweeted. Tyrone, don't say that. All right, guys, so we're gonna go outside. We're gonna walk the neighborhood, stay together in a group. We got <laughs> Um, uh, um, uh, what the hell? Okay, that, that was weird, and I'm glad that I'm not the only one that heard that. Um, but I'm pretty sure it was just the cat. Meow! Wait, I have to go to the bathroom before we leave! Okay, hurry up. I'm 
best buddy. <laughs> okay, guys, as soon as Tyrone's out, we're gonna go and. at the door? No, it's obviously just some eager trick-or-treater. We need to go help Tyrone. Let's go. Yo, what's up, man? You good? Yeah, I just accidentally quagged the toilet and it started overflowing. I need you to plunge it. I have that problem often, grandbaby. I I'll gladly plunge your toilet, my, my sugar loaf. Oh, thank you, my spicy ham hock with Dude, a side right, of Stop! Tyrone, that's what you're in here screaming about? Yo, my house needed help, so hurry so we can go trick-or-treating. <sighs> Okay, man, we're gonna deal with this later, because right now we gotta dig ah! What the hell? Okay, just everybody wait back here. Oh my god. What is it? What is it? Uh, um, um, what, what is it? What is it? Okay, guys, stop asking me the same question. Babe, you need to stay back here with the kids. I don't want them to see this. Officer Leonard, you have to come with me. That's a dead body. Yeah, it's the guy. What guy? It's the guy from the door a little bit ago. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure his, his name was Carlos. No, his name wasn't Carlos. It was something the third. I, I, I don't know. C Carlos keeps coming to mind. No, his name's not... Just forget it. Okay, please. What do I do about this dead guy? It's freaking me out, and you're a cop. What do I do? Shh, I'm, I'm gonna need you to stop shouting that. I, I'm undercover. For the last time, you're not undercover if you're dressed in full uniform. Okay, please. What do we do about the dead guy? Let me see. My house wants to see a dead body. <laughs> I'll show you one. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but we gotta figure this out, okay? We've got a whole... Yo, where'd the dead guy go? Yo, who put this ventriloquist dummy in the kitchen? Somebody's gotta be playing a prank. This has to be a joke. Tyrone, if I find out you're the one doing all this, trying to scare my daddy, I'm gonna smack you so hard your real dad's gonna show back up from the grocery store. What the hell, Waboogie? And no, it's not me. Okay, I've never seen this wooden dummy before in my life, but this joke has gone on long enough. I'm calling the police. Where's my cell phone? Officer Leonard, let me borrow your phone. I, I don't use cell phones, uh, only fax machine or, or carry a pigeon. Wait, brr, my phone is missing too. So is mine. Okay, everyone hang tight, I'll go get it. It might be my friend, Shalissa, Jalissa, Carissa. Psst, hey, come here. I want to show you something. Who said that? Me, over here. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're trying to casserole my bacon bits, but you should know, I have a boyfriend. Man, ain't nobody worried about him. Come look under the futon. <laughs> okay, everybody, I want you to meet my friend from work, Fiznit. Yo, what's up, everybody? Yo, I'm Fiznit, the party starter. And it's time to get this party started. He's known around the office for always getting everyone pumped up and excited, which I think is exactly what we need, given what already happened tonight. Exactly how is he supposed to get everybody pumped up and excited? I'm glad you asked. Let me show you. Yo, 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 it was about to get way too crazy up in here! I, I couldn't help but notice you, you didn't want to dress up for Halloween. I did! I wore a collar shirt! Normally I wear a v-neck! I see you dressed as a plumber though! That's nice! Yes! I am! Okay, guys, stop! Fizzin, can I please borrow your phone for a second? Somebody's playing a disturbing prank around here and I need to alert the police before it goes too far. Oh, ow, ow. Okay, everyone wait here. Oh no! It sounded like my sweet coconut uh, swirl is in trouble. Larger! 
Marjorie, are you okay? Marjorie, are you okay? Blah! You need to come here and see this. Hurry! Blah! Hurry! Jada, what's going on? I was about to check on your mom and make sure she's okay. I don't think she is, babe. We found her wig laying here on the floor. How'd that get all the way over here? I don't know, but bam, I'm getting really worried about my mother. I, I can't take this. We need to go help save my uh, my salted caramel breakfast burrito. Uh, love of my life, Marjorie. Okay, guys, don't worry. We will find her. Okay, first things first, we need to all stick together. Secondly, we need to make sure nobody gets inside this house. I'm up in here, baby. Yay! It's my best friend, Jalissa, Jalissa, Carissa. That's right. I'm up in here, I'm ready to party. Now somebody get me a drink so I can forget about all my troubles. Okay, hold on a second, Shalissa. How'd you get in here? Somebody left that patio door open, so I decided to come in here and give y'all a sweet Halloween surprise. This is stupid. I don't even want to be here. Y'all just ignore my boyfriend, Pudupleris. He's a little grumpy. This house is freaking ugly. I want to go home. Okay, well, with all disrespect, Pudupleris, you can leave. Right, as a matter of fact, we got something pretty serious going on, so there ain't gonna be no partying tonight. That's okay. Remember, everybody, on business, the party starter. And no matter how grumpy anybody is, I can always get this party started. It's okay. Not right now, Fiznit. We have to find Marjorie. Oh, man. Officer Leonard, you stay out here and watch out for anything suspicious. I'm gonna go check the back office. <laughs> okay. Hype yet? No, I don't feel anything. This is stupid. It's okay. I'll try again. Tell me if you feel excited this time. Yo, 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 yo. Wow. I think Fiznit is really attractive. Do you think he's single? Shalissa, you already have a boyfriend. Girl, Shalissa likes to party. He might have to be my new man. Ask him if he's single. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, so a friend of mine was wanting to know if you have a girlfriend. Oh, that's nice. I like to think of everyone as my girlfriend. I don't know. I, I think, I, I don't He might be single. Tyrone, I'm worried about my daddy. Yeah, and I'm worried that if his house gets killed, then I won't be able to get any candy. We need to go check on him and make sure he's safe. with that creepy doll when I could be outside knocking on doors getting free candy from someone who's tweaking or tweeting my house. Okay, Tyrone, first of all, stop talking like that. Okay, secondly, I have no clue how this dummy got here. I've been in here looking for your grandma this whole time. You hear someone just knock on the window? Tyrone, what are you doing? Open up that door. I didn't close it. It just closed all by itself. Tyrone, you better not be messing with my daddy. I'm not, Waboogie. I didn't close the door. Right, you guys stand over there. It's locked. This is all stupid. I shouldn't even have to be here. Okay, I see I'm gonna have to turn things up another notch and get this party really crazy. That'll cheer you up. No, you can't cheer me up. You're an idiot and I'm sick of you. Yeah, well, well I'm, I'm getting real sick of you and, and I wish you were the one missing instead of my sweet love, Marjorie. Who locked us in the office? Oh my god! Somebody killed my boyfriend, Pludupleris. Kids, close your eyes. Holy smokes! His house is dead as hell! I can't 
believe this happened. Okay, to be fair, I don't think he enjoyed life very much to begin with. Uh, that's it. I can't take this. I'm leaving to go find my girlfriend. Babe, you should go with him. Absolutely not. I'm not leaving y'all alone in this house with some killer. Babe, we need to go find my mother. Okay, well, babe, he will go out there and search for her. Fine. If you won't go, then I'll go with him. No, I can't have you going out there. Jada, we're safer if we stay together. Either you go out there with him or I do. You decide. Okay, all right, fine. I'll go outside. We'll do a quick scan of the area and then we're coming right back. Okay, babe, uh, hurry. My mother could be fighting for her life as we speak. Tyrone, get my jacket. Hell no. Okay, fine, I'll just... Marjorie! My, my sweet honey biscuits! Ma Marjorie! I don't think we should be yelling, Officer Lennard. This is still a residential area and I don't want to alarm the neighbors. Yeah, well, well my sweet honey biscuits is missing. Well, why don't you try yelling and, and help me find her? I just don't think yelling is the most effective method of finding somebody. I mean, aren't you a cop? Why don't you use some of your cop methods to find her? Uh, stop trying to blow my cover. Remember I told you I'm supposed to be a, a, a plumber? Officer Lennard, you're not a plumber. You're dressed in your full police uniform. Please, just do your job and use your police skills. Uh, hold on, uh, stop, stop talking for a second. Uh, look, look, look at that guy over there. Uh, he, he must have taken my sweet Marjorie and dressed up in her costume. I don't know, man. I don't think that's what happened. I mean, maybe he's just a regular person dressed as a mermaid. Uh, no, no way. Uh, what, what are the odds of that? Uh, there, there's no way this could happen? I feel like the odds are pretty high. People like to dress as mermaids on Halloween. Uh, no, uh, we need to go over there and jump him. We need to figure out what he did with my sweet Marjorie. No, I don't think we uh, hey, uh, what did you do with my girlfriend? And why are you wearing her clothes? Why? I, I don't think uh, I... Uh, oh! Oh! Tell me, uh, tell me what you did with her, or, or th there's gonna be a lot more with, uh, where that came from. I swear, mister, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm wearing this because I've always wanted to be a mermaid, and my wife said I could never pull this off. I, I guess she was right. Um, uh, well, uh, it looks like I guess we got the wrong guy. Yeah, I know. I tried to tell you. Now let's get out of here and keep looking. I can't believe somebody killed my boyfriend, Pladuplerus. I guess I need to start searching for a new man. Shalissa, I think there are more important things right now than looking for a new boyfriend. Okay, there's a murderer running around, and we need to get to the bottom of it. Well, I can't be out here being all single. Plus, I think there may have been some sparks between me and Fiznit. No, Shalissa, honestly, I'm a little bit suspicious of Fiznit. All this weird stuff started happening once he showed up. All these people have either gone missing or been killed, and I think he's the prime suspect. I don't know. Just look at his face, Shalissa. Look, look at it, right? Yeah, he looks weird. He doesn't look like anybody else. Okay, I'll tell you what. I can find out if he's the killer or not. I'm gonna seduce him, make him fall in love with me, and make him feel like he's gained my trust. And after we've been happily married for about 30 years, I'll get him to confess to all these murders. And then I'm gonna lock him up. Shalissa, Jalissa, Carissa, that sounds ridiculous. Girl, stop. Watch me get in the zone. Shalissa, I don't think that's how this works. Hey. I mean, I what do you say you and I get this party started in the back office? Oh yeah! If there's a party that needs to get started, I'm your guy! Because I'm FISNET! Okay, I've been waiting all night for this moment! It's time to get this party started! See? My plans don't fail. Can't watch Big Mama go to work. Okay, Shalissa, just please be careful. I don't want to lose you too. Here we go! Ah! Okay, Fizzner. I see you playing hard again. Come out and get this sugar from Big Mama. Yeah, that's right. Come look over here under the futon. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. I'm looking. I don't see nothing. Where you at? I'm right here! Um, sugar? Uh, sh sugar lumps. Um, uh, sugar margarine. Seriously? You're still yelling? I thought we agreed that that wasn't a good method. Well, well I'm scared and, and, I, and I need to find her. Shh, stop talking. 
What's that? Oh, oh my god! Um, it's, a, it's a bucket of blood? No, it's not blood. It's a bucket of red paint hidden by my house. Something's not adding up. Um, well, maybe, maybe we should ask that man who's standing on top of your roof? What? Come on, we have to get back inside the house right now. Shalissa, I heard you screaming. Is everything okay? Shalissa? Oh my god, Shalissa! No, Shalissa! Tyrone, something seems very wrong. I'm worried about my daddy. Yeah, and my house is getting worried that we might not be getting any candy. I say we go outside and find my daddy. Yeah, and maybe while we're out there, we can knock on some doors and get some free candy. I can get you guys some candy. What the hell? Yeah, come over here. All go <laughs> How the hell were you able to talk? Tyrone, this doesn't seem right. We need to go find my mom and my daddy. Don't worry. They're taking a nice long nap. Holy smokes! Holy smokes! Holy smokes! Tyrone, what do we do? Are you guys okay? Go, go, ga, ga. Hell no, but my house will feel a lot better once I finally get some candy. Tyrone, there are a lot more important things happening right now. Right, we have to get out of this house. I I'm about to lose it if, if we don't find my girlfriend, my, my sweet Marjorie. Wait, 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 wait. Tyrone, where's your mom? She went back to the office to work for her friend Shawissa. Jada? Babe? Are you okay? Babe? Yeah? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm trying to see if you're okay. I'm fine, but Shalissa, Jalissa, Carissa was killed. All right, I'm coming back there. Just watch your back. There's an evil dummy in this house and it just attacked me. Everybody stay close. I can't believe she's dead. She was my best friend and she was alive and now she's dead. Jada, come on, babe. We have to get out. Oh. My God, she is very dead. Babe, we can't just leave her here. Absolutely we can and we should. Come on, babe, we've got to get out of this house. Nobody's leaving anywhere. What the oh, hell? Oh, God. I, I can't say. Nobody panic. Conveniently for the plot, I happen to have a flashlight. Okay, guys, we have to make a game plan. We have to get out of this house and we have to move fast. Tyrone's room is directly across this hallway and as far as I know, there's no dead bodies in there. So I think on the count of three, we should all make a sprint straight for his room. We'll reconvene and come up with another plan on how to get out. I said, nobody's leaving. Ah, ah, he bit my leg. Go, go, go. Ah. 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 Man, are you okay? Okay, I fought him off. I might have bought us some time. We got... Hold on a second. Tyrone, where's your bed? I got tired of always having to make my bed every morning, so I threw it away. You threw it away? Yes. We don't just throw beds away. What are you thinking? Well, my house peed to bed last night, so I figured I needed a new one anyway. You don't make decisions like that in this house. Yeah, well, you're not my real dad. Guys, focus. We are in danger. Okay, you're right. My bad. Tyrone, you'll sleep in the boogie's bed for now. No, the hell he's not. Okay guys, the only way out of here is through the front door. So we're gonna have to be strategic. Um, well, why, why don't we just climb out the window? Well, for obvious reasons, Tyrone's windows were never made to open. And they're bulletproof. What the? That's some bullshit. Watch your mouth. Okay, Officer Leonard, you're gonna go out to the living room, open the front door. As soon as we hear your call, we're gonna come charging out there as fast as we possibly can. Um, well, why, why do I gotta go out there? I, I think you should open the door and, and I'll wait for your call back here. Listen, I'd love to, but all the non-important characters have been killed off, so I gotta stay back here to protect my family. You know, the important ones. Babe, what about my mother? She's important. Right, babe, yeah, no, I, I know, of course, your mom, too. 
No, I, I don't want to go out there. I I'm, I'm scared. All right, fine. We'll play paper, rock, scissors, and the loser has to go. Um, I'm, I'm okay. Paper, rock, scissors. Rock beats scissors every time. I'll go open the door for you. Oh no! Okay, here I go. Here's the front door. Hey, what about me? Uh, uh, um, who said that? Me. Ha! Oh no. Something happened to Officer Leonard. Tyrone, I think it's time we handle this dummy once and for all. Hell yeah. This isn't good. That's it. I'm not going to let this happen in our house anymore. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to try to help Officer Lennar before it's too late. Yes. <laughs> before it's too late. Babe, I think it's too late. Yeah, his house is dead as hell already. All right, guys, stop. I'd like to have a little bit of hope. Officer Lennard, make sure you keep the kids back there. No matter what, stay together. Bam. What are you talking about? The kids followed you out of here. You have them. I'm ready to kick some dummy owls. I just don't understand what's taking so long. He should have been here already. Just keep your eyes open. We can't let him catch us off guard. Tyrone! The boogie! What the? If my house doesn't get any candy tonight, I'm gonna complain about it for a whole year straight. Now, Tyrone, get him! Hell yeah! Babe, what's going on? I just found some strings all over the floor. Yeah, me too. I don't know what any of this means, though. It's... Well, Boogie, what the hell? Why did you just kick me? My bad, my foot slipped. Hell no, you did that on purpose. Tyrone, we're in battle, and if you see me throwing haymakers and combos, you need to stand back, because it'll get dangerous. Stop arguing. It's time for you to say goodbye. 
I got this one, Boogie. Time to seriously kick some owls. What the hell? Ouch! Ouch! Ah, ow, ow. Okay, now hold on, now give me a second. Are you the one behind all this? Babe, what's going on? Who is that? Yeah, babe, it's that, that guy, the, the salesman guy. Are you talking about Carlos? No, his name's not Carlos, it's, it's something the third. My name is... <laughs> the third. That's a stupid name. This is impossible, you were dead. I saw you laying in my patio doorway. Yes, you did see me. But I was not dead. I merely faked my own death to throw off your suspicion of me. This explains that bucket of red paint I found behind my house. You were the guy I saw standing on my roof, weren't you? Yes, your roof was the easiest access into your ventilation shaft into your house. I can't believe you killed my mother! You'll pay for this! No, she is alive. I duct taped her mouth shut and stashed her up in the ventilation shaft to scare you. Okay, but you killed my friend Fiznit and I cannot let that slide. Oh no, I couldn't kill him. He's too much fun. I stashed him in the ventilation shaft as well because I need a party starter in my life. Oh yeah! Let's get this party started in this ventilation shaft on Fiznit! Okay, so you haven't been killing anybody. This is all just one big elaborate trick. Oh no! Make no mistake, all the others are very dead. You see, I'm a master ventriloquist and I controlled that dummy from your ventilation shaft to show you the importance of why you need my premium Halloween protection insurance services. Okay, so you did all this just to make a sale? It's a hard lesson to learn, but all of this could have been avoided if you just had my protection insurance. That's stupid, you're the one that did all this. Yeah, but for the small price of $94.99 a month, it wouldn't have happened. Babe, he's making a valid point. This is ridiculous. Where do I sign? All right, guys. We still have enough time to go trick-or-treating. I'm sorry about everything that happened tonight. Hopefully, you know, getting some candy can help that feel a little bit better. Hopefully, we don't have to deal with any more scary monsters. Yeah, wake the fang dangle. Guys, stop. We're not going to have to deal with anything because we have that protection insurance now. Tyron, what are you talking about? What is this fang dangle? The fang dangle is a very scary creature covered in all black fur. And he has a creepy clown face. And he shows up every Halloween night. Tyron, stop trying to scare your little sister. Don't worry, the boogie. There's no such thing as a fang dangle. All right. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go get some candy.